Good morning, how are you doing? I hope you are staying safe and well. We are just about to head out for a little walk. It's Thursday, the 14th of May. No idea what kind of number of lockdown we're on anymore. I'm not even bothering counting. Our lockdown measures, <clears throat> excuse me, in the UK were eased. Boris uh, Johnson, our Prime Minister, announced on Sunday that lockdown measures were going to be eased slightly. I mean, there's been a lot of confusion. Lots of people are very confused by it. I think it's really quite straightforward, to be honest, but there is a lot of confusion in terms of what we can and can't do. I think because before the message was just very simply stay at home and now it's gone to this stay alert thing, people are just a little bit confused with what they can and can't do. For us, essentially, are you trying to be noisy? <laughs> For us, essentially, nothing at the moment has changed. Um, we are potentially, maybe not this weekend, maybe like during the week, next week, when it'll probably be quieter. I think like National Trust have emailed us to say some of their open spaces are starting to open up. Um, but at the moment, we are just taking it, you know, same as there's no difference for us in terms of what we're doing. We're still just going for like our daily little walk. I'm going for a run in the morning. And other than that, we are staying at home. We're going out shopping as little as possible. Lara can work from home. She's like office based, so she can work from home. So that's no problem. I obviously work from home with the foster children and that. So yeah, and Stephen's at home. So we're just same as, continuing as normal. We're about to go out for a walk because it looks lovely and sunny, but I think it's probably quite cold when we get out. Oh, in um, running news, if you saw my last week and I ran 4K this morning for the first, I think ever. Did I tell you this, Stephen? No. For the first time ever in my life, let me get this up, 5K. I ran 5k straight through. Yay, am I getting a little clap? Thank you. Look at that. 5k. I mean, it's not very fast, but I don't even give a damn. I'm so chuffed with myself that I did that. My 5k, Stephen, my yeah. average kilometre I did in five in seven minutes, sorry. So you see that, like seven minute average kilometre. Yeah. And then there's like a leaderboard for 5k. The top person, like who uses Strava, their average pace, and they did 8.3 kilometers. Their average pace, guess. A minute, that's not a minute. Two minutes 35. That's insane to me that someone can do. For eight kilometers, that is fast, fast bloody running, but, I'm well chosen myself. I am on Strava's leaderboard. I am 661,529. But I don't care. I did 5k for the first time. Right, let's go out. Going for a walk. Just me, Stephen, and the little one. Also, we may be, maybe expanding the family today. But I will talk more about that in a, another video if it happens. It's far too warm in this jumper. I need to change. I bet I'll be cold. You taking your jumper off? Yeah. <laughs> Stephen is my new little pusher of the buggy. This lockdown life is wonderful. When we go out with Lara, Lara carries. When we go out with Stephen, Stephen pushes. The only problem will be if we do get another one, I might have to start actually doing something. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? you? like doing it. They do actually choose to do it. I don't like <laughs> make them carry or push or whatever. Stephen chose to do it. It's much nicer out here than I thought it was, to be honest. I think it might be. Could be a bit of a garden day this afternoon, isn't it? Like, I feel like it's nice enough to be out. That walk was glorious. Hopefully I get to spend the afternoon in the sun, but for the rest of the morning, I want to try and get all up to date with the potential of new kiddo arriving today. I want to get up to date with all of my kind of paperwork, like daily diaries and stuff that I've got for the child that I've got in place and um, just like, various little bits of things that I need to do fostering wise and like YouTube wise get up to date with that as much as I can at this rate I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be getting any sun this afternoon <laughs> it's so nice out there but I am just waiting I'm editing a video at the same time whilst I wait but I'm waiting to be let into this conference call it's like it's half past one now they can't get on like the host of it can't get on 
And so I'm just listening to waiting music whilst we wait. <laughs> <laughs> Work from home problems. I haven't experienced these. <laughs> Next day, it's early. It is 6.54. I'm off going to do our shopping. It was a bit of a mad one yesterday afternoon because we had a new foster kiddo arrive with us. So it was kind of, as you can imagine, it was a bit hectic and crazy. And so... I've left them still asleep. Lara's gonna look after them if if and when they do wake up. I'm gonna try and go and get a quick food shop in and also like buy some clothes and some bits that this new kiddo needs. I haven't done my usual nice like meal plan and shopping lists. So, so I mean it was just kind of rushed done. But let's go. I think last time I went, why was I? I think we were on a walk. One day we were on a walk and I just happened to see that the supermarket was open. Like earlier than usual and so it's like wait next time we go shopping i'm gonna go to this supermarket and i'm gonna go for like seven o'clock so fingers crossed it's nice and quiet and i'll just be able to get in quick and get back quick for like breakfast time and everything for the kiddos this is the time you want to come completely empty all done Right, we're going to attempt to do PE with Joe this morning. Don't know if we'll be able to with new situation of children, but we're going to try. It's Fancy Dress Friday. I don't think Stephen's ever done a Fancy Dress Friday. No. <laughs> Stephen's first Fancy Dress Friday. Yay! Might be able to get like oh, yeah, some of it has. done. Has he? Yeah, Fancy Dress. He... Yeah. The Batman. Oh no. What was it? Spider-Man was it? The, the first one. one. Yeah, the first one was Spider-Man, wasn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Are you joining in, Lara, or are you working? Yeah, I'm are you ready? I'm also buggy shopping, potentially. No, I don't hear Stephen. It's Fancy Dress Friday. Woo woo! Where's Stephen? Oh, he's coming. Good morning. You hey? <laughs> That was a good workout. It was pretty chaotic here. We did manage to do it. We all did it. It was pretty chaotic in Joe's house as well. So that made me feel a little bit better. I think today I've got a meeting. I'm not really sure what's going on with the, obviously we've got this new baby with us. I've got a meeting at 10, phone meeting. And then there could be like some other meetings later on. When a new child comes, it tends to be meetings, meetings, planning meetings, contact meetings, all sorts of things. So I don't really know how the day is going to pan out. Pretty sure we'll get a chance to go out for a walk at some point, but for now I'm just going to wait. It's like quarter to ten now to wait for the ten o'clock call that I've got to be on. And hopefully these kids will behave whilst we're on the call. Can we be quiet? While Sarah works? We try. We'll see. We'll see. Oh my goodness, today has just been... Well, much busier than normal around here. <laughs> We've, uh, it's been alright though. It's three o'clock. Everything's done. Like phone calls and meetings and oh, that's nice. Do you like that? I've just I gave Stephen um, some vinyl floor on Animal Crossing. <laughs> Stephen's been. You finished all your schoolwork? I didn't even. Yeah, I just assumed that you had because you put that on. Um, Stephen's finished his schoolwork. Lara's still on a call, but she's almost finished work for the day. I've just finished my calls for the day. I've had like planning meetings and like other meetings to do with fostering today so it's been pretty busy to be quite honest um i feel like i haven't stopped all day but we are just gonna chill out for maybe half an hour or so play a bit of animal crossing me and stephen or stephen is and i'm gonna sort of watch whilst look after the kids and then when as soon as lava's finished we're gonna go on our little daily walk because we haven't done it yet we've not we haven't been out in the afternoon at all have we we've always done it in the morning we're gonna do it in the afternoon today we just haven't had a chance look we've decided our walk we're gonna get a takeaway because we always get a takeaway when a new kid arrives and we're gonna order one but for some I, we don't even know our local takeaway that we well that i love is just keeps being closed we went to get one the other week and it was closed and it was closed tonight so on our walk we're gonna walk down to there to see what's going on if it's like 
I don't know, just like shut down or what the deal is with it. What's happened? It's just the metal things in front of it. It's just, just shut us yeah. down? No sign or anything saying anything in particular? No. Oh. So, we are none the wiser really. The takeaway is we let, it was too far, we didn't walk the whole way, Stephen biked, <laughs> biked the last little bit. The takeaway is, it's just boarded up, so it does say like on the website that they're opening tomorrow, but like who, what takeaway isn't open on Friday night? I don't understand. So we'll get a takeaway from somewhere else. Tomorrow night, Lara, actually. Yeah, let's check. Let's check if they are open tomorrow yeah. at five. Otherwise, you'll have to ask on Facebook. Or yeah, what on earth's going on? Don't know what's going on with them. Don't know, but sort of takeaway, it's getting late. It's arrived. Picnic on the lounge floor. We went to bed a little too late last night after our pizza. Me and Lara sat in the garden. I kind of just needed to like decompress a little bit after like the hectic goings on of the day or the previous like two days with the new little one arriving. We sat in the garden, we ended up started chatting and then it ended up being like half eleven by the time we went to bed. So I'm tired today. I did get a little bit of a light in though to be honest. I could uh, I didn't get out of bed until seven, which it's lovely, it's lovely with the two kiddos. Um, it's like half past seven now and we're just having porridge and breakfast and bottles and everything, getting all ready. Fill up these little kiddos before we start the day. I have no idea what we're doing. Possibly me and Lara might go on a walk. If she gets up, she might not get up. She's got the luxury of um, sleeping in and not working at the weekends, which is lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, if she gets up. Well, whenever she gets up, we'll probably go on our walk, maybe without Stephen today. And I, I really want to know, really want to know If I let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high That was a lovely long walk, we were out for an hour and a half I needed that this morning, that was good Plan for the next couple of hours is Feed these kids, get them to bed And then, fingers crossed, hopefully both of them will sleep at the same time For maybe at least an hour or so And go on Animal Crossing and work on my island Kids are in bed? Yes, hopefully the next hour. I'm hoping I'll get an hour kid free and I can do some island redecoration on Animal Crossing. I'm getting prepared for a special little Saturday afternoon treat. We're having a special little, what are they called? Musical. Yeah. It says Cats the Musical. I'm like, what's it called? Musical. What? Premiered 20 hours ago. 1.1 million views. Um, I'd get you duvet if I was you. We need more duvets, some snacks. I'm looking forward to this. I've never seen cats before, so this will be fun. Oh, oh my goodness, it's wonderful. interesting if you've seen cats maybe like we're one of the only people who haven't seen cats but what's it all about <laughs> I mean I quite enjoyed it Stephen on the other hand Stephen did you enjoy no not really no not really <laughs> to be fair we were like no I didn't understand we were like 
And we were like, what's going on? We didn't understand it. And then she even did a bit of Googling. And then, like, Steve was like, oh, like, how far into it are we? We were like an hour and ten minutes into it. And it got, went, like, Steve was like, oh, it went really fast. So actually, if it's gone fast, you've got to be enjoying it to a certain degree, haven't you? It was all right. Didn't really get it. I mean, I do get it. I get the whole thing of going to Bob. Yeah. What were they doing? Choosing a cat to go to... Heather. Heather. Yeah. Heather something. <laughs> yeah, something. Um, but it was quite nice. It was nice, like, getting all the blankets and duvets and everything and just chilling in the um, in the afternoon. I wish that we'd known... Well, we did know I'm gutted, really, because they've been doing it. I think they've been streaming them on... What's the YouTube channel? What's the YouTube channel for, Stephen? Shows must go on. Oh, yeah, the shows must go on. And they've been doing... Is it just Andrew Lloyd Webber's? I've no idea. I don't actually no. know that much information about it, to be honest. But they've been streaming them. Obviously, people can't go to the West End shows and stuff. So they've been streaming them on Friday nights. And then you can watch them for the week, that, like, that weekend. And they've done, like, a four or five already. But they're not up anymore. You can't watch the full thing. I'm gutted that we, like, haven't been doing that. Because that's, like, a really nice thing to do. I think, we, we like, we knew about it. But... Like seven o'clock on Friday, it was like, well, that's just can't do that with the kids and stuff. It's not really the time that we want to watch um, watch a show. And then we didn't know that like you could watch them afterwards, and we didn't like anyway. It's quite a nice thing to do. I'm gonna go to bed early night with Animal Crossing. We get a bit obsessed. <laughs> Stop it.